I put off making this video because I wanted to make sure I fully explored 8.0 Falco and all of the improvements he got. Though he is, in my opinion, a noticeably better character, I still don't think he's as good as Fox or Wolf. I'm going to go into detail about what it is I think makes Falco the worst space animal, but also talk about things he does better than Fox and Wolf, because he does have strengths that those two don't. Before I start, if you're curious to hear my opinion on both Fox and Wolf, check out the video I have linked in the description that goes into more detail talking about them and which one I think is better. Alright, so back to Falco. There are two big issues Falco has that make him worse than the other two space animals. The first one I'm going to talk about is his neutral game. When playing neutral as Falco, he's at his best when the opponent is in the air or using a slightly damaged shield. You want the opponent to be in the air because Falco has incredibly good anti-airing options as well as lining punishes. Up tilt and up air do a really good job of intercepting airborne opponents and side B is one of your best options for catching landings. Falco is really good at shield poking so if the opponent has a slightly damaged shield and likes to hold shield a lot, Falco does a really good job of taking advantage of that with forward air and sometimes up tilt depending on the character's height. The problem is, if the opponent knows how to fight Falco, it's very difficult to get them in a spot to consistently take advantage of his strengths. He has a slow run and airspeed, so he can't chase down his opponents, and though his aerials have amazing hitboxes, they are not very safe on shield, so you can't rely on pressuring your opponents. Of course, this is very dependent on the matchup, because not every character Falco fights is going to be faster than him or have good out of shield options, but I will say the vast majority of the cast do. Defensively, Falco has really good out of shield options, but the problem with them is they're only good if the opponent is very close to you when they attack your shield and don't low profile. If they somewhat space their attack or low profile, it's very likely Falco won't be able to punish them. So fighting any character with a disjoint in neutral can be very difficult. Of course there are some characters that Falco does a good job of fighting in neutral regardless of his flaws, but I think for the most part, he struggles winning neutral against most of the cast. His options just feel more limited than Fox and Wolf, which results in Falco having to play more defensively or take more guesses. His other big flaw is getting kills past percents where he doesn't have consistent kill combos. Up tilt back air is Falco's most reliable kill confirm because of how fast up tilt is and the sizable window he has to connect back air. Past that, he can also go for up tilt up air, but the up air usually will only kill if you mix up the opponent's DI. Past up to up air, Falco can struggle to get kills due to him lacking reliable kill setups at those percents, struggling in neutral, and not having a real kill throw. What I mean by this is Falco's back throw can kill, but you can DI it so that the laser will never connect that kill percent. Honestly, I would say Falco struggling in neutral is a much bigger flaw than him struggling to kill at higher percents because he does have a consistent kill confirm he can connect if you get the opponent at the right percent window. I still do think this is an issue that is made worse because of Falco's weak neutral game though. Alright, now I'm going to talk about what makes Falco a good character. In my opinion, the best thing Falco has going for him is his combo game. So many of his attacks are amazing combo starters and can lead into one another. This allows Falco to not just have a large variety of ways to start combos, but also rack up damage incredibly quickly. Whether he gets a grab, a tilt, or an aerial Falco will be able to combo you. His combo capabilities are further improved by the use of platforms because of his amazing jump height and fall speed. Because of this, Falco's combo game is the best out of the space animals. Something else he excels in that Fox and Wolf do not is edge guarding. Falco's long lasting forward air and down air hitbox makes it easier for him to successfully line up attacks to edge guard. Though Fox and Wolf can also go offstage to edge guard, it's more risky for them to go as far as Falco can because they don't have Falco's super high double jump or amazing directional air dodge that can quickly get him back on stage. They both have to rely more on using their up B, which could potentially lead to them getting reversal if they miss their edge guard. So Falco has the ability to not only go super far off stage and more reliably edge guard the opponent, but also do it in a way that puts him less at risk if he misses. Surprisingly, though Falco has a frame one reflector, I don't think he does that much better against projectile zoners than Fox or Wolf. This is because both Fox and Wolf have an easier time approaching zoners because of their better mobility and attacks that are better suited for pressuring shields. 
They also have the ability to use the reflector to counter Zonish projectiles if they need to. Something to note about Falco's reflector is that it does not reflect throughout the entirety of the animation and leaves Falco vulnerable to projectiles for about 11 frames. So if Falco throws out a reflector and the opponent doesn't shoot their projectile, they can wait and shoot it afterwards to punish them. Fox and Wolf, on the other hand, can hold their reflector as long as they want in order to reflect a projectile. I still think Falco does a better job at fighting zoners at a distance compared to Fox and Wolf, especially if he utilizes his lasers to disrupt them. But Fox and Wolf don't have to do that and are way better off playing up close anyways. Overall, I think his low mobility combined with lacking long range out of shield options make Falco struggle in neutral. Combine that with potentially having a difficult time killing makes him the worst space animal. I think in order to make Falco as good as Fox and Wolf, or potentially even better, one of those issues are going to need to be addressed. One of the most common suggestions I see someone give is to make Falco a faster character mobility wise. While this sounds like a good idea, I think it's one of the worst ways to buff Falco given how he plays and the advantages he already has. Think of it this way, Falco isn't very fast and is already able to pull off incredibly high damaging combos. If he becomes faster, you're going to make his combo game even better and give him a bunch of absurd combos he doesn't need. I think the best way of improving Falco's neutral without giving him too much is to make his neutral error better at hitting grounded opponents. It would give him a more reliable out of shield option while still keeping his weaknesses of spacing attacks on shield and approaching opponents. A different route you could go for buffing Falco would be to improve his up throw and back throw. If they can make it so that the laser always connects when Falco does up throw and back throw, it would make him a lot better. Kill percents would be less of an issue because he would have two more very reliable options that are throws. At the moment, I wouldn't say Falco is in desperate need of any improvements, but I personally think that is what it would take for him to be completely on par with both Fox and Wolf. Though Falco has his flaws, I still think he's a very good character and believe he's viable. In my opinion, he has unique strengths that make him pretty different from both Fox and Wolf, and is just a really fun character to play. The meta for 8.0 is still incredibly young, and there's always more about Ultimate that can be discovered. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It really does help a lot. If you want to support the channel even more, you can do so on my Patreon. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.